How's it going, everybody, and welcome back. This is Wake Run Collapse. It's lovely to see you again, because I can see you through this video that I filmed in the past. And in this video that I filmed in the past that has already happened to you, but hasn't happened yet to me, we've got this box of Japanese Pokemon cards. It's Ultra Moon box number three out of 12. If you missed the last two, make sure you check them out. If you did see box number three of Ultra Sun, you know what to expect. A box that's difficult to open for absolutely no reason. This is the official, by the way, Japanese way to open booster box plastic. You just stab the thing needlessly with scissors and then you just throw it off like it's a garter belt or something anyways. A replication? would be all right in this case, because a replication of how we've been running would mean that this box would also have a full art Cynthia, and if I'm going to duplicate up somewhere, this would probably be a good place to do it, because it make for a good laugh. So if you're looking forward to a good laugh, or a complete surprise, and changing of the thing, make sure you hit the like button down below, and we'll see how we do. <laughs> no freaking point in waiting. This is so weird. This is so weird. How is this happening? All right. Okay, so in a vacuum, let's say, let's say merely <laughs> that the the odds are one in six that we pull the same number. Let's discount the hyper rares, ultra rares. We'll pretend that they don't exist. We'll just we'll reduce the odds for sanity's sake. And we'll say that there are six full arts in each set. So the odds of pulling the same numbered full art in back-to-back -back boxes, when I go Ultra Sun to Ultra Moon, is one in six. We did that three times in a row now, and this one was in the first pack while I was still talking about it. So the odds of this having happened is one in 216. Of course, it's higher than that. There's Ultra Rares, there's Hyper Rares. It's probably like one in... 8 or 1 in 9. If it's 1 in 8, that's 1 in 512 that this would happen. If it's 1 in 9, it's 1 in 721. In any event, she's looking at you. And she's stoked. Because somebody's gonna really, really, really want to buy her. Which is something that you think nobody would be excited about, but... In my particular scenario, in this vacuum, everything is fine. And everything is great. Because I said I was pulling a full art Cynthia and then it happened. And now the rest of you just gotta, I don't know, feign interest in the video. And I'll be looking. I'll be looking. I'll know who's looking at their phone. Glaceon will know as well. Because we just pulled a Glaceon GX. Not often a box pays for itself in the first pack. Not often at all. Rare candy, and it's for friends. I don't really know what to say at this point. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. <laughs> also, what just happened here? I think I think the hollow's in like the second slot right now. <laughs> Something bad has happened. Oh no, we actually got it right. I thought I'd really fumbled it. I mean, I did, but Drampa, still. Oh, not 721, 729. Sorry, I just thought about that. 1 in 729 if it's a 1 in 9 chance of happening once. What I really got to do at some point is go through those campaign cards and get the last three. But for now, we're just going to stare at this Lunala Prism card. Which looks awesome, and thank goodness it's not a Giratina. That would be disappointing. Uh, so, the Lunala Prism is our Prism card for the box. It seems as though there's just one per box. So, Lunala Prism has full moon star. It's an attack rate at the top, one energy, no damage. But it'll let you attach one psychic energy to any of your Pokemon from your discard pile for each Pokemon on your opponent's side of the field. And then that attack down at the bottom, that's Psystorm. That's a 20 with a multiplication symbol on it. 
See how that just multiplication simple. It's 20 times the number of energy cards in play. So that can do some damage. And hey, it's cool and pretty and not Giratina. I did not want to see Giratina three times in a row. So I'm quite pleased by that. I feel at this point that I can become a little lax when it comes to actually showing the common and uncommon cards or reading the names off. You guys know what they are. And Garchomp. It's probably preferred uh, to watching me try to open the packs as quickly as possible while also simultaneously realizing that I can't keep up with my voice and my words. Like Rescue Stretcher, Eevee, Piplup, Skaroopy, and Hippowdon. That one was easy. But if you have a set that's like a pack that's more difficult, maybe there's a trainer in there that I won't immediately know. I will go Kranidos, Passimian, Buizel, Krogunk, and a Palkia GX. That one was actually pretty good too. But this gives me false hope. And this makes me think that I can do this all the time. You guys know me, I can't. So what I'm thinking, and we can talk about this now, it's Monday, Monday's where plans are hatched. I'm thinking that the, uh, the box per day thing is pretty cool, it's working out pretty well. It's allowing me to catch up on some other stuff, like my daily catch up intake. Um, but I think that we'll probably, in our big openings over the weekend, I think we might introduce a couple of games. I'm not saying we're going to do it for every box. But maybe every other box would be fun. That'd be nice. Like there's seven. Yeah, there's seven boxes in each video that we're going to be opening. So we can play a game every other box. And no, I will not in my seven box opening video do a shot for every full art I pull. I got a Lux Ray Hollow there. Though it could, ooh, it could be fun to do a shot for every new card I pull. <laughs> Don't talk me into this self. Future self knows your self-destructive tendencies. And it thinks this is a bad idea. Yeah, I probably won't do that. Because the last thing that needs to happen on the internet, especially as I'm closing down my channel, is for me to pull a bunch of new cards out of nowhere and all of a sudden I'm doing six shots of fireball in a single video. <laughs> then I'm like stabbing cards and bad things happen. It's wishy-washy all over again. We already did this once in our double case opening too. I just don't remember what card it was. Heatran maybe? Uh, if you don't know the uh, the story of the uh, the double wishy washy, uh, I think it was I don't know whatever set has a wishy washy GX, Sun and Moon two. I don't remember which one. Uh, probably a Lowland Moonlight, but I really I'm not sure. In any event, I was opening two packs at a time, and I pulled two packs out of the box, and they each had a wishy washy GX in them. So at one time I was holding two wishy-washy GX and I didn't know it. And it made for a good laugh. So now we have the Cynthia card, the slightly less coveted version. Lolan Sandslash, Gabite, Gumshoes, see what I mean? Manaphy and Rescue Stretcher. This stuff. Ooh, and a Dawn Wings Necrozma GX. I'm actually remembering which one is which. I shouldn't be proud, because that's like a simple thing to do. But it's a difficult thing for me to do, because I don't know them from games.
Anyways, guys, if you're still watching, that's solid. You're 10 minutes into a video that featured the full art poll in the first pack. So at this point, I'm just going to ask you, what do you think of how Sun and Moon sets have progressed? And I don't mean like in terms of how they are in comparison to older generations, older eras like Black and White or X and Y, uh, but right now, let's take Sun and Moon 5 and we'll compare it to Sun and Moon 1 or Sun and Moon 2. Do you think that the TCG, that these booster boxes, do you think they're getting better? Do you think they're getting worse? Uh, do you think... The prism star thing is just like a band-aid to kind of keep sets like artificially fresh or do you think that it's a great introduction most specifically do you think that you enjoyed watching my sun and moon 5 openings more or less than my earlier sun and moon openings if you've been watching that long then kudos to you and if you have an opinion on it, I'd love to hear it. It's got Crushing Hammer, Gibble, Pachirisu, Krogunk, and Alolan Sandslash. Getting to the end. Finishing up. Oh. This is a really messy pile. Oh, goodness. I have a sideways card in here. No wonder it's sliding all over the place. Unit Energy. A Luxio Piplup. A Driftlim. And a Cranidos. A couple more packs to go to finish this up. Sorry for the length of the video. Last one was definitely faster. There's a Rampardos Hall. Oh. Sleeves are toy like a toyger. So we got Rotom, Hippopotas, Shinx, Eevee, and Ultra Ball. And in our last pack, box three, we're going to have a hollow. It's what we do. Which one? A Faulkner, Snover, a Gabite, Manaphy, and a Polion gonna be our hollow. So now we have one more box already opened on the channel in our history. I don't know what the current tally is, but I'm sure it's huge. I'm sure if you went back and you counted all the packs and all the boxes, that had ever opened on the channel, you would get a very large number. The boxes are for sure in the several hundreds. I don't certainly don't think I'm at a thousand, but I mean, think of all the cases I've opened. Anyways, Empoleon, Rampardos, Lucario, Cresselia, Cynthia, Luxray, Luxray, Cresselia, Garchomp, and Drampa. Are the hollows gx is one of each we've got glaceon we've got palkia and the dawn wings necrozma a new prism card in lunala and a very fancy duplicate in cynthia once again worth saying any of these duplicates that you see in these videos any of these cards that i know are going to be for sale eventually are not available until the sale video actually goes live it's a better representation of what the cards are worth at the time and it also gives me an opportunity to make this fair for everybody because if the sale video goes live and all the cards are available at once then nobody can email me ahead of time and say please i really want this and it's like well if you really really want to you should probably buy it on ebay or wait for my sale video, which is cool and has better pricing. Anyways, enough about that, enough about this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't done so already. I'll be back tomorrow for box number four of Ultra Sun. And maybe, maybe we're going to get a non-full art. Maybe we're going to lose our powers of prediction and blow everything out of the water. No matter what happens, it's going to be fun. I'll see you there.